chose to live here in these apartments as opposed to uh, other apartments. Well, let's be honest, hurry up, man. You're too slow. Come on. Coming, man. It takes a while to go upstairs to the video camera. See, this is like one of the kind of apartments I don't know if you can tell, but look at the door first. See, there used to be a star right here. This is where every star starts out. No, I'm kidding. Okay, this is my apartment. It's covered with shit. Okay, let's go through it. This is my scorpion's home. I hang out with him. Whoa. Can we get him out for you? You gonna pick him up? No, I'm just gonna move him around. There's my scorpion. He's sucking. Fucking hey. He's a little pissed off right now because he just got fed. See the stinger? <laughs> he gets mad at the bowl because he thinks it's me, but it's not me. See, he's still mad. I'm not even in there. <laughs> so that's why I don't pick him up right now. <laughs> you can only you have to wait till he's like tired and everything. So is that a dead person that huh? got in your sc scorpion's tank there? No, man. He made those. <laughs> Dreamed him up from his own brain. So. This is my boot. This is my other boot. <laughs> well, let's go back downstairs. Well, let's take a look at the bathroom. Kitchen. Bathroom? Kitchen? Yeah. Hey, this is my kitchen. Small Rhodes has to watch over the shit. Rhodes. Oh, yeah. A lot of Randy Rhodes in this band, I've 
Yeah. Figured out everybody's got that. There's my refrigerator. I see you eat well. Yeah. Sausage, Dunkin' Donuts, pumpkin pie from Thanksgiving. Oh, can I have some of that? It's kind of old. Oh. <laughs> I don't think anything is in here is edible. <laughs> no. Okay, hi. We're outside my apartment. It's my apartment looking in. And we're downtown Austin. I want y'all to see this because this is bad. This is what is outside my window when I look outside my window. Ready? Look at that. Isn't that bad? It's pretty bad. Neon lights, I guess, you know, like kind of downtown here. We live downtown, as you can tell. So, like, if there was ever a bomb, it would blow up somewhere over there, I guess, and we'd have to run somewhere over there. Dry performance. Um, sexual. Sexual, energetic. So we're talking with the mighty, the powerful Sam Zellison. That's right. And here we are, getting dressed and ready. So, okay. yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear Listen you? to yourself talk. Listen to yourself. Breathe. That's right. That's you think that Austin's ready for the pariah assault yeah. at Aquafest? Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for the Austin assault at Aquafest, but they're ready for I'm it. I'm ready for it, and they're ready for us. But if I don't stop doing this hand stuff, my arms are going to fall off and I'll start rapping. Yo, my name's Easy. <laughs> Okay, right now we're at Shannon's house. We're gonna see if he's home. He's always home, he'll be here. Hey, Shannon, hey man, what's going on? I'm just hamming out. You're hanging with your hammies, huh? Yeah. That's what we came- my little buddy. Cool. We came over to ask you about your little buddies. Why don't you give us the tour? Okay. Um, little buddy man over here. 
Okay, what's this guy's name you okay, got hold out on, of? Hold on, let's put it in the light here. This is Basil, my little buddy. That's Basil? All right. It's my favorite. This is his favorite. Yeah. That's uh, why he's kissing him. <laughs> All right. Now show us, give us, there's his little hammy land. And uh, let's see. Oh, here's the big old mama. I have to show this one. This is an, an, an also another really cool movie. How many hamsters do you have? About 30. 30 hamsters? Yeah. Does it? You have to clean them out a lot they every day. They multiply so fast. It's like one day you wake up and you see like 10 in here, and then all of a sudden you see like 10 down here, and you're like three in here. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah. There's another little hammy in yeah, here. Yeah, I don't have homes for all these guys, so it's like. This dude's in the back. Come here, right? Now we're going in the bathroom now. Wait, wait. First of all, check it out. Uh, his Some rooms are wrecked. Out. <laughs> Shannon's out. out. <laughs> it was like, there's the closet, as you can tell. Here we are in Shannon's bathroom. Uh, look, look. In the bathroom, there's some more hamsters. Tell us about wait, why hold you Hold on, hold on. Film this dude. He's all trying to... Of course, he knows he's in Shandy land. He wants to get out. <laughs> Show us where the rest hold of the on. hammies are. Okay, here's a dude that we need a name for him if you want to send in stuff. Send in a name and you can name this ham. This is Shannon's favorite. No. Second little. Second little. Isn't that the favorite's babies though? Huh? <laughs> How many more are in here? <laughs> These are by the toilet, Shannon. <laughs> keeps a few hammies by the toilet just for sanitary reasons. Right, hold on, and for all you, uh, for all your hair care needs, use aloe vera shampoo, 84% fucking spiro gyro and shit. This guy's trying to escape. Look at these bird's eye view. Right, um, we're getting a bird's eye view of these hammies. Here. There they are. Yep. I'm scared of them. Let's go, let's go bird's eye view. This one's trying to climb out. Hamster likes. He's scared of them. Okay, wait, hold Okay, wait. There, we got the hammies here hanging out with Sims. Sims likes to torment these hamsters every day. Listen to the cat. this dude's trying to get away and shit. Turkeys. Turkeys don't really scare hammies. I'm supposed to get the cat. Hold on, here we go. Here. Here, here. Put him back on me. Here. Turn the lights on. Listen to the cat. Oh. Listen to this. <laughs> Hold on, Chin. Recording. Refrigerator. What do you have in here as far as food goes? One Swedish meatball. <laughs> Ice cube trays. All right, filling. Let's show the rest here. Hey, five alive. Goober grape and shit. <laughs> how come, Shannon, how come you don't have more food? How come you don't stock your fridge all the way? No. <laughs> Money. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yeah, Dave's back. You have any ideas? Yeah. Piano for songs? I don't particularly hear piano on any of your stuff. <laughs> you don't hear any piano? Envision it! You're floating through space at a million miles an hour. And all of a sudden, from behind you, comes a giant antelope. He wants to eat you, but you say no! Say no, antelope! Antelope can't eat me! Only rabbits can eat me. Thank you. See ya. Here. Isotropic rubbing alcohol, which is used specifically to sterilize the thermometer, which Kyle's consistently keeps in his mouth. Like, almost always, because he's always so sick. Or, thinks he's so sick. This is the telephone I'm on hold here. Let's see. Here's the here's the thermometer that Kyle. Of course, it's out on the counter. We didn't have to we didn't have to go get it or anything. But yeah, here it is. The thermometer. He's already got it set. 
preset <laughs> preset thermometer so that he doesn't have to work very hard to to check and see if he's ill or not. <laughs> Even if he feels fine, he's got to check his temperature to make sure that he's uh, still functioning as a normal person would function. <laughs> I'll put it up for him. Better leave it on the counter. He might he might need it. See. It's not out of focus, is it? Oh, it looks really cool. It's like you're traveling between weird things. Back off it a little bit. Okay, ready? Sims? Yes. Hello. Tell us about your bobby head co collection. Hold on, I'm on the phone. Time okay, here. This is me, Kyle, interviewing Sims. You are? Right, he's going to tell us no, about said, his bobby head collection. Okay. These are bobby heads. Be the reason they're called bobby heads okay. is because it all the heads Far bounce. Head fact, Check it out. We got a little drummer dude. It's a little drummer dude. And a little guitar dude. Okay, so just tell us about your bobby head collection. Well, you stomp on the floor, <clears throat> the whole thing will move. There's this smoky bear. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I'm real proud of Mr. Peanut back here. It stays in the back so that I don't, uh, so that Show it doesn't, Mr. Peanut. doesn't get ruined. So there may not Mr. be enough light Peanut. here. Mr. Uh, Mr. Peanut, I'm real proud of. Let's see. Oh, Kiss Lunch Boxes. Kiss Lunch Boxes that I bought at a. Uh, oh. Uh, Kiss Lunch Box I bought at a hardware store. It was in the back, Ace Hardware. And I said, how much are these, these Kiss Lunch Boxes? And the lady looks at me and goes, Kiss Lunch Boxes? What are you talking about? And I say, these right here, you have them on your shelf. And she goes, man, we've had those for years. So I asked her how much, and she sold them both for a dollar. <laughs> and now I have Kiss Lunch Boxes, complete with the mug, the thermos. Jared Sin, guitarist of Pariah. Yo, tell me, Jared. Yeah. You know where I can find Dave? Dave who? Your singer, Dave. You know, the oh, singer in your band? Uh, nope, haven't seen him, huh? Ain't seen him. Thank you. Can you tell me where to find Dave? What are you talking about, man? You know Dave, the singer, lead singer in Pariah? What's, what's Pariah? Uh, you know, the rock band. The rock band from Austin, Texas, your hometown, you know? Yeah, I got the Austin part now. I don't know about the Pariah band. Oh, well, uh, Who are you looking for? Are you, Dave's not here. Who are you? Are, here, are you Charlie Sexton? Dave's not here. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. We must have the wrong Charlie. <laughs> the wrong Charlie. Hi there. Have you seen Dave? Dave who? You know Dave, the singer in Pariah? Never heard of him. Okay, well, uh, well, somebody's got to know where Dave is. I'll find him here somewhere. He knows. Sims Ellison of Pariah. Can you tell me where to find your lead singer, Dave? I don't know. Probably hanging sure. out somewhere. Somewhere? Big Rasta, man. Oh, okay. Probably, probably big, screaming for victory of him. Here we are, up on the roof. Up on the go I'm gonna talk to you, Jerry. No, but do it right now. Do it right now. Come on, Kyle. Jerry, lean over the hole. Hold on. Checking out the video of the Go Go's.
Beautiful. He's sleeping right here. He's an older guitar player. If anybody didn't know who the fuck Pariah is. <laughs> and there's Jerry out there doing his tracks. Earthquake. Go away. It's time to eat. Go away. Go away. Go away. You will die. <laughs> If you not find a job, well, buy my book, How to Beat the Hole. <laughs> <laughs> how to Beat the Hole. No, How, how, how to, to Beat be a, a hole. hole. Oh, How to Beat a Hole. A hole. I know you're upset. You have every right to be. But you're obviously a very intelligent, civilized person who can recognize this incident for what it is. That aberration. What? <laughs> 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 but that's a good one thing, was badass. Dave, you warm-up exercises. Huh? Away, mm -hmm. Dave, warm-up exercises. First, I exercise my nostrils like this. <laughs> <laughs> and after I do that for a while... Dude, tell him your tongue stretch. Okay, after I do that for a while, let me find my string here. Do you have it? Do you yeah. carry your string everywhere you go? I carry the string everywhere, tell just in case explain. anybody asks for me to vocalize in any way. <laughs> you know, I take this, this here string, well, it's usually it's a dirty one. This is a new one. Usually it's a it's it's a used one. It's got my dried saliva all over it. <laughs> and I take this. Now, I learned this. You know, people have been doing this for hundreds of years. Not rock and roll singers because they all they do is smoke cigarettes and drink. That's why they... Now, you get this, and you wrap it around your tongue. You smoke cigarettes and drink, Dave? I don't smoke cigarettes. I drink apple juice. <laughs> Occasionally accompanied by Budweiser. Oh, <laughs> 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 See how it stretches muscles in the back of your throat? Oops, hold on. Don't get so close to that kid. That's it releases vocal tension and helps you sing better, even if you do have a cold or you are singing on alcohol or drugs. Drugs. Well, I don't know. I've never experienced any kind of <laughs> confrontation with drugs. His nose is growing as he speaks. Thank you. Here we are outside the Austin Recording Complex. Recording, rehearsing complex, something like that. Where'd you go? Anyway, we're still on the search for Dave. Come in here, let's see. Well, you know, I, I don't know what. Hey there, Bondo. Tell yeah. me, have you seen Dave? Dave's not here. Dave's not here, huh? No, Dave's not here. You don't know here. where I can find him? 
Dave's not here. He's not here? No. Will he be here later? Uh, Dave's not here, man. All right, then. But you, uh, we got stuff to do here, man. Okay, Dave's well, I appreciate it. I'm pretty busy. Hi there, Sam. Can you tell me where to find Dave, your master? Uh, duh, nope, uh, nope, I sure can't. Uh, uh. Hey, Earl. Have you seen Dave? <laughs> you have. Where'd you see him? <laughs> Wayne. Here we are with the manager, Wayne Nagel. Oops, I thought. Here we are with Wayne Nagel, manager of Pariah. Tell me, Wayne. You know where I can find Dave? Uh, I sure don't, but I think he's supposed to be in rehearsal at 7. 7, huh? I think so. Okay, well... I'm the greatest. Okay, well, let's see some tricks go. Full shred. Yeah, the skitteroni. That's not it. Where is it? Right here. It's coming up. Good. <laughs> I heard the little <laughs> squeaky fart. <clears throat> Sam's okay. That's it. That's it. Let's go. Thank you very much.
about your day. Man, my fucking day has been hilarious. First of all, my girl come call me at 8 fucking clock in the goddamn morning, and then she tells me she don't want to talk to me any fucking more. So, fuck, I get back on the goddamn couch and I try to lay back down and get some more sleep. Fucking three little juvenile drop out high school and motherfuckers go come, and then they knock. Well, nah, guys, like, hey, hey, me and my bros are sleeping and shit like that. And then next thing you know, the motherfuckers are on our fucking porch. Hi, I'm MC Captain P. You might have seen me perform with Pariah on you know, many occasions, but I'm not here to talk about that today. Porch, man, talking about having a bad day. Me and my bro, we get in the fucking truck, and then we leave, we go into the motherfucking tamale house and shit, right? I order kind of cassada, he order beans and cheese and potatoes and some other bull ass shit, right? I'm here to talk about safe sex. Many people don't practice safe sex. They say bobbing with your hand does the trick. But you don't know who you've been touching or what kind of things you've been around that may expose the AIDS virus to your penis. fucking way. We get back in the truck. We get ready to leave. All of a sudden, we look at our tacos. This motherfucker put beans on our tacos. Then we ask for beans. No, no, no. Then we ask for beans. No, no, no. So next thing you know, we say fuck it. We get back in the fucking truck and then we go off to goddamn me as Michaels, right? We go in there and find my friend Pete something so we can fix his guitar, right? So anyway, we go and next thing you know, my brother's getting ready to purchase this shit. Boom! He locks the keys in the truck talking about having a bad day. That's for the average Sims type of person. To this, you have to have a very small, small penis in order to use this rubber. So, for you men, such as myself, they invented the new kind of rubber. The brown bag rubber. Next thing you know, we're on our way home and we're almost running out of gas. Talking about having... Then we get home and the fucking people still call and ask who's Kyle asleep. I said yes, he's asleep and I'm getting ready to leave. Come around catching sparks off you when all I ever want from you. Ready? So we need to. Does anybody compare you to Cindy Crawford with that mole on your face? Well, let me tell you now. No, Cindy Crawford? Um, I like to compare moles with Cindy Crawford. No, seriously. Seriously? <laughs> Here's one cat missing in Simpson's face. Let's go to the guitar symbol. Hold on, let's go film. Yeah. Go, go film him. Okay. Here, we're gonna get Shannon and his famous father, Doug Song. They're shitty. Uh oh, who's this? Uh, I Spy Camera. Oh, I Spy Camera. Two hip dudes, man. Two hip dudes. This is for the fan club, Doug. Yeah, Say hi to the fans. fans. Pop and son. <laughs> Show I'm not cleaned up and like. Hey. Ready? Here's Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Yeah. Man, I'm looking for Dave. Are you st you're still looking for Dave, man? I'm looking for Dave, man. Have you seen Dave? I haven't seen ma Dave, man. <laughs> I said it wrong, man.
He's ever painted anything on this canvas. But yeah, this canvas right here. I don't think he's ever painted a thing. <laughs> hey, Rocky Erickson. He loves Rocky Erickson. Okay. Hey Dave! Are you here? What? Dave's dog. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Looking for Dave, Dave Drew, Marilyn. Hey Dave. Huh? <laughs> hey man. Oh, man. I just had the weirdest dream. Everybody's looking for me. Yeah, man, we're looking for you. What time is it, man? What time is it? I don't know, it's four in the afternoon. Oh, fucking get out of here, man. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> 